So today we're going to be starting a new mini series specifically on filtering and we're going to be doing this with Adonis.js and HTMX. The gist of this is that we're going to be able to make API requests, manipulate the DOM with responses of those API requests and just manipulate the DOM as a whole using just HTML attributes as they show in their example right here. So let's go ahead and start by getting this installed. So let's jump down to the install section. There is a CDN if you wanna do that approach. We're gonna go ahead and install it using NPM. So let's go ahead and dive into our terminal here. And I'm within an HTMX filters project. I do have this project up on GitHub. Uh, you'll be able to pull it down uh, from there if you wanna follow along. So let's go and do npmihtmx.org to get that installed within this project. So all that we need to do to install this within our Adonis.js project is just jump into our script and import it just like so. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. Optionally, you can also append it onto the window if you need access to the HTMX variable. They do recommend this, but we're not going to need that at all within this project, so we'll skip on that step. So let's jump into our project here, jump into our JS app.js file, and go ahead and plop that import in here. And there we go. So now we have HTMX installed within the project. So with this project, we have a list of posts. There's 300 here, 100 of each post type that we have. There's a select box here, which we'll be able to perform a search on against our posts, a post type selector, which has article, blog, and lesson post types, as well as a sort by field which will allow us to sort by title ascending, title descending, and the post type ascending as well. Presently, none of this is rigged up. That's for us to do within this series. Alrighty, so let's go and jump into our project and walk through what we have so far. So we have an index page. This just has that HTMX filtering. The about section lists out our filters, which is a component, and the post list in itself, which is a component. Within our components, we have the post filters, which again has an input, a select for the post types, and a select for the sort by. This is all wrapped within a form, which is currently doing nothing. Uh, for our post list, it's just a list of posts and it also shows the total results for the current filter. Now there's a very specific reason why I have all of this information split out into a single component of its own. And that's due to the nature of how HTMX works. So HTMX is going to allow us to post out a request so we'll be able to do an HTMX post, which will take all of the filter data that we have within our filter form, post it up to an endpoint that we have within our Adonis.js app. We'll be able to take the form post data, filter results with that post data, and then we'll be able to specifically target that component as our post request response view. Return that back as the response in itself with the HTML intact, and then specify that we want to swap the target's outer HTML with our response body, essentially allowing us to take what's currently in that post list and replace it with our response body's post list. So we'll be able to do a one-for-one -one swap with the direct post request response that we have from the result of our filter. In addition to that, we're also gonna be able to use HTMX to update the URL of our page in itself so that we can append in to the query string those new post filters in case the user were to want to share the page at all or just refresh for any reason. If they were to do that, the post filters would be remaining within the query string in itself. So then we would be able to take that into account for the re-render from the get request that we have for our index page. That's the gist of what we're going to be covering within this series. So if that sounds of interest to you, be sure to stick around because we're going to get started in the next lesson.